And roughly 24 hours from now, we're going to see a huge volatility in the US dollar because the non-farm payrolls are going to be published. What is your take on the dollar? Should we be buying it or should we be selling it? In this short video, I'm going to show you some potential levels for the dollar and also share what I think is going to happen next. So you're looking here at the euro against the dollar and you're looking at a channel, a channel that has been dominating the price since February of this year. And uh, the channel predicted that we were going to bottom out here uh, just a couple of weeks ago and has done so in the past as well. It's also been very good at projecting where we should have these major highs. Now the price moved really close to the upper end of the channel and that could have offered an opportunity to short sell. Now, I wouldn't go and short sell here to EURUSD today, rather I would like it to see go up higher. And I would say as long as you trade below 1.0054, 1.0060, we could potentially trade lower. What's also interesting is that gold is doing pretty much the same. Um, this is gold and its channel, and the price has been guided by this channel here since March 8th. And we're actually at the upper end of this channel, and here one could potentially take a short position today. Now. The reason why I am not taking a short position today is because the non farm payrolls will be out tomorrow and we tend to see very high volatility around that event. You can potentially spike upwards, spike lower, and then we're back where we started. The only difference is that you will be stopped out. That is why I don't really take positions on big events like the non farm payrolls. Also, what's going to be interesting for me this time around is how is the market going to react to the data? We know that the US data and the US economy has been strong. That's why they pushed forward with rate hikes before everybody else. Now, we saw some data earlier this week with the ISM numbers that when the data was weak, that the dollar weakened a bit. But what we also need to bear in mind is that we're actually heading towards a global recession or at least a massive global slowdown. And the dollar tends to gain at those situations. So I'm guessing that in the long run, it doesn't really matter what the data is gonna be tomorrow. The dollar will continue to gain but it's going to be interesting to see at least how the market reacts in the short term. And if they follow along what we saw with the ISM figures, then there's a high risk that they actually dollar weakenings.